so we have passport installed and we are all set to create our view component for registration okay so why don't we get started let's close everything else and in here our component will be event registration dot view I'll have my template script um, what I will need to do is get the props for you know, the um, button and the text so I'll have two props for now which is first one will be what do we call it text maybe then second one will be the mode as an btn warning or btn um, success and the event id obviously we will need that okay so this is done uh, my template will be event let me get that template that's the button so i'll have this entire thing in here I have a wrapper rather um, why don't we name it event registration okay so in here button will be the default class and then we'll have the bind class equals mode this will be text and i'll keep the event id for now it's basically for a different reason um, I need to pass the URL, right? But let me first see if this is working. So app.js inside resources and I'll register my components. So event registration, which is going to be event registration.view. This is done. Now, for this to work, I will require to have the token no not really i think this will work let's see so i'll just have i removed it oh i haven't added it as of now so let us see event mm. registration okay i should have the buttons yeah they are there now what are the two properties first is text text equals so this is when it is null right so i'll have register and mode equals what do we have this okay take it to the next line maybe and event id equals Event ID will be upcoming event ID. Okay, so let's see. We have the text in here, and I'll copy this. This is my entire button. The warning will change, and text will change. So I should have two buttons. Um, yeah. Yeah, refresh the register. It is passed to component, but to declare the prop, there is no that the external is actually sensitive. Let's see what the problem is. Event ID. Oh, yes, it should be like this. Okay, so that's changed, and this is changed as well. Hit refresh. We have the buttons properly coming in, so we can get rid of this as well as this. And we should be fine. All right. Now the next thing is we need to hit the post URL. So we'll make the post URL. Um, but to define that, I will need to create something which I typically do is a config.js. Okay. What it helps me to do is, you know, 
config.js. Um, so yes, on this level, if you see, you know, my code should not have you know, the URLs inside them because then it becomes very difficult for me to manage. I should have the flexibility of changing the URLs as and when required. So they should be inside one single file and that is going to be our config.js. So window.laravel.basepath. Okay, that is something which I need to define. I haven't done this and then I'll have export constant I'll say registration URL, registration URL. Okay, so I'll have this entire thing and then um, API slash V1 handle registration. Okay, this is the URL which I'm gonna create. API.php now post. Um, I need a controller for this. I would want my, you know, API controllers to be in a different file. I don't want them to be hanging around with my normal controller. So, so events API controller. I don't I need the namespace, which is um, event slash. Okay, so what is the name of my function? Let me take the basic part of it and then I'll change the remaining. So event API controller, okay. Event API controller should be inside this. So yes, this is part. And the controller. Huh. And I'll need what the user will be request user. Okay. The event will be why don't we get the repository? Um, and okay. Um, so what we can do is we will say that this event get by ID request input event ID. Okay, we'll pass that. And first, let us try out and see if we are able to get that event first of all. Okay, and so quickly, I will need to make sure this part is working right so inside my html dot blade my master template i'll have a script tag in that let us have window dot variable equals an object in that i'll have my csrf token in case i need it And then I need this path, which is going to be slash. Okay. Um, if I refresh, what happened? Call to undefined function post. That's strange. Where is that? API R O U G. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I had a single colon, so now can I get that window dot level base path? Yes, I'm getting it. So, which means now this is going to work. So, I'll import that. Import from config.js. Okay. And why don't we 
uh, the v on click equals handle registration so uh, we need to add the methods object in this my function axios dot post I will have a registration URL create a post data variable okay and that we need to pass event ID which is key event ID so this dot event ID which is the props okay so we are passing the event ID as props and then in the post data we are going to send the event ID and then get the response great so this is where I should get my event for now we are returning that all right here uh, the cache Fetch Axios. Oh, spelling mistake. I OS Axios. Right. Um, refresh once more. And okay. So what happened? Invalid URL. Open on. This is strange. Did it, it compile or something? Let's see if our configuration is correct. So and this what do i get here is it with the slash or without the slash is the important thing oh i'm not getting the slash right so what i need to do is why don't we add that huh? okay no, it's not here so <laughs> uh, Okay, we can for now. Have it in here and now let's see if this builds properly. Yeah, I think now I've got the entire event. Yes, ID five. So that's working. And so we have a proper you know setup of the component where I'm able to do the post request so in the next video we are going to handle the logic of checking the register deregister and accordingly um, you know making the database entry in our uh, participants table right all right so stay tuned